Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Today we're going to be creating a quiz using Google Forms. Forms is great because once you create a quiz once, you can reuse it and edit it as many times as you like. Now we're putting out fun tech tutorials each week, so if you haven't already, press the subscribe button to stay updated with these videos. All right, let's get started. To begin creating a quiz, we need to be in Google Forms. You can select a blank quiz from the template, or you can select a blank form and then turn it into a quiz. So to do that, just go into settings, and then in the quizzes tab, there'll be an option to make this form a quiz. There are a couple of other settings. For example, students can type in their email addresses and then also receive a receipt that they've completed the quiz. They can be limited to just one response and there are some other options available as well. In terms of presentation, you can shuffle the question order, show a progress bar and have a confirmation message as well. For example, well done for completing the quiz and then save all those settings. The other way to create a quiz is directly through Google Classroom. So you need to be in classwork, select create and create a quiz assignment. There will automatically be generated a blank quiz. Click on the blank quiz to edit from there as well. Okay, let's go ahead and change this. We're going to be making a science quiz. Okay, and then select up here as well. So you can change the file name as well. We can customize the theme, which is the paint icon. Choose an image. There are a lot of really nice headers available. I've also created one in Canva. So use the dimension 600 by 400 pixels for this, and then you can have the elements that you like. I do recommend you make your own. If you are intending to use the quiz many times, then you can personalize it to how you like. Okay, let's press done. We can also go ahead and change the theme color. And we can add a description for our quiz. Here we're collecting email addresses. So one thing I would like to add is please um, include your school email address. Generally, school email addresses include student names. So that's why I want to do it like that. Okay, let's make this a bit smaller. Here we've got a first question. There are a couple of options available. You can do a multiple choice. Checkbox, drop down, file upload, a linear scale, and just more of um, options for you. So here, let's do a multiple choice. This is the most simple one. I'm also going to upload an image, okay? So I'm gonna have an image of a beaker, okay? And then I'm gonna ask students, what is this piece of equipment called? So let's insert that. Okay, make it smaller. See those three dots up here? We can also align our image so it's in the center. Okay, and then we can have some options. So we can say it's a, a Bunsen burner. We can say it's a beaker. Um, and the last thing we can say is a tripod. Select answer key and then we can assign some points. So let's make this one point. Select the answer. So this is a beaker. Press done. Okay. I would also make this a required question and I would like to shuffle the options as well. So you press on the three dots and then shuffle option order. Okay. Cool. Let's go for another question. We can do a true false. So true. And then forward slash false. We begin and aim using the word two. Okay, and multiple choice. There are some suggested suggestions here, so we can add all these suggestions. So true or false are very common um, questions that we use. So here we've got some default responses there. Answer key, press true. We'll do one point as well, and then we're done. Again, we'll just press required and shuffle the option order. Let's go for another type of question. So here we'll go for a checkbox question. And you can make the questions quite tricky as well. 
So if you want to avoid um, students looking up the answers, I would recommend that you do scenario questions. So for example, Shay was conducting an experiment to see whether or not the amount of water affected the height of the plant. Okay. Um, what are the controlled variables? Okay, so it's a question. Let's have some options here. So we can have amount of soil, type of seed, height of plant, amount of water, amount of sunlight okay we can go ahead and select the correct answer and assign points so we'll do one point and there are a few correct answers here so amount of soil type of seed and amount of sunlight press done and what i like about this is you can also tell students how many correct answers there are so response validation is how you do it so it was the three buttons here three dots um press response validation and then you want to select exactly three. Okay. Let's go ahead and add another question. So press the plus sign here. And then we want students to upload a file. And we can ask students to upload a file of their plant experiment. Okay, this is really good if you're doing distance learning. And you can specify the file types as well. So we can have just images and PDFs. Students can upload a max of one file and you can even determine the max size of the file. Okay, so 10 is fine. One is probably fine as well. Um, make it a required question. Answer key, just have it one point. And you do need to manually check that students have completed this um, question as well. Okay, and Let's go ahead and preview this quiz. It's a really good idea to preview before you send it out just to check whether or not there are any issues. Okay, so this is a required question and yep, we've got our points allocated as well. Okay, and just to show you this um, question here, if you select one answer, there will be a pop-up that says you must select exactly three options. So if you select two, that's not enough. If you, if you select three, that's perfect. If you select four, then you've gone too much. Okay, so that's perfect. You can then go ahead and send your quiz out. Okay, and to do that, you can press the send button to grab a URL. Okay, so you can shorten the URL and then copy it into um, your learning management system or you can send it out as an email. The other way to send it out is to add it into your Google Classroom, okay, by selecting Google Drive, and then uploading the quiz that you've just created. Okay, delete the old one, and then you can make a title. And then, yep, select points, due dates, and so forth. I'm just gonna press assign. Cool, and then there it is. When students have completed the quiz, you can go ahead and take a look at the results. So here in responses, we can take a look at the insights. Um, just before we do that, be mindful that you do need to manually go and mark any questions that aren't multiple choice or checkbox questions. So that last question was a upload question. So let's go into question four out of four and take a look at these uploads that students have completed. And then once you have checked that, you can mark that. So I'm just going to assign some random scores there and save it okay then we can go ahead and take a look at the summary which has accurate insights now so i do recommend that you share this with students as well it gives a good overview of how everybody went in the quiz and it also gives you a bit of a summary for each question as well you can then go ahead and take a look at individual students as well so here is millie and this um this question was correct for Millie, the second one was incorrect, and so forth. You can also download a spreadsheet for it. So in Google Sheets, we can have an overview of each student. What I like about this is that it also has timestamps as well. 
and it shows scores for individual students. Just one more thing to add, if you are a teacher with G Suite, then you also have the option of importing the grades directly from Google Forms into Google Classroom as well. So that can be very handy in terms of tracking each student. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you got some ideas on how to use Google Forms to create your own class quiz. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to Class Notes for more videos like this in the future. Until next week, see you later and have a good day. Bye.